Hello Survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So uh, today I think we're going to try to make our way towards the library. So I did come back off screen and dropped off my stuff. I've gotten out my submachine gun, the nice one, and gotten all my ammo for it. I've also got my trusty serrated machete. I think I want to make my way towards the library and get that quest done for our commander over there and see what that unlocks. So quickest way to get to the library... Um, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I think they said I need to take the... Red line, was it? Doesn't show up in a quest, does it? Does not. I wonder if this guy will tell me again if I ask him. He might. You. Any good news? Reporting for duty. Speak. All right, I'm going. Any good Not news? there. Do you have any paying work? There is always work to be done. We are not in war just with the scumbags from the Alliance. We also have the orders to annihilate every single zombie mass hole we see. Here, take this. You know what needs to be done. Just missed. Clear Faunuel Hall and Haymarket Mall and kill the, uh, the ghouls. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm just trying to remember where I'm supposed to go for... to get to the library, to get to Copley Station or Copley Station, whichever it's called. Um, so it's going to be over here. You know what, we'll just wander around a bit in the, the tunnels and we'll figure it out eventually. That's that's my whole plan. I'm pretty sure it's over... I haven't gone this way yet either. Is it over this way? It could be over this way. We'll try this. There's gonna be, um... I don't think this turret is, uh, friendly to me. No, it certainly is not. So we're just gonna get rid of that real quick. So again, I'm not really sure if this is the right way or not, but uh, you know, we'll just go this way and see what we find. It will be easy EXP if nothing else, and uh, this place eventually does respawn, so you can come back. And do it all over again, which is great. This might actually lead to the Themis area. I'm not not entirely sure. It's been a while. But like I said, it's a very easy experience. Pretty good loot as well. Yeah, we need to get a couple levels so we can be safe and not get blown up. my beer going here to get those rads purged. Oh, I didn't bring much beer. Well, if we make it to Alliance territory, then, uh... If we make it to Alliance territory, then we'll be able to... I think this does go to Themis area. I'm not sure, though. Joan's room. Let's see what Joan had to say. Is she a ghoul? Yeah, she's a ghoul. So they were purging the ghouls out of here. And they killed these guys because they were ghouls. Nine four eighty one. Airport station has really become a bustling place these last few weeks. With the Revere Beach station gone, all the scavers have relocated here. It's sad what happened up there, but I can't help but appreciate the added business has given us. Ten thirty one eighty one. But a month later, Happy Halloween. Took the kids down to down downtown as a treat. The kind of people you meet there. 
Met a nice scaver from all the way in the fens. His name is Matt, but that's not... That's not to say airport station was bad either. It's gotten so crowded there, we've had to start setting up sleeping bags in the parking garages and concourse. 11 12 84. Things are going well with Matt. The kids like him too, but he worries too much. He keeps going on about leaks in the walls, about how it's not safe to hang around in the concourse. If the air is so toxic, why isn't anybody getting sick? 12 25 81. I feel awful. I look awful. My hair is almost gone and my skin's scabbing up. Merry Christmas. Matt's gone back to downtown to talk with the captain about all this. 11, 111 82. Things are getting worse. Miss Hines from across the tracks looks even more decrepit than usual, and I swear Mr. Warwick growled at me. But Matt's coming back soon. I know it. He's coming back with medicine to help us, and we'll all be well again in no time. Except they weren't, and they just all got killed by the Alliance. Or by the, um, the feds. This goes towards Airport Station, which I believe Airport Station... Yeah, Boston Airport Ruins. This should be... Mostly ghouls, and it should be a good experience, but I don't know if I'll go up top in the airport or not. We'll see. There's a lot of good loot back here and a good experience, though, so... I'll certainly clear it out. Like, it's easy EXP, right? We just swing our... We just swing our machete and uh, get loot. Light bulbs are pretty good as well. Easy copper... And glass in those. We ended up making se several trips through here to get all the goodies back through here. Yeah, there's a ton of ghouls in that parking garage. And they'll be great for experience. Right, we can go back through here. Ghouls over here too, but nothing crazy here. 50 cal and a uh, pipe up and I'm probably going to drop their mining helmet. Those are not bad to sell, but they're a bit heavy. So it's unlikely I'll probably hold on to that, but for now it's fine. Might go back through this way first. Is there a medical... I don't see a medical box in here in this one. Sometimes there are in the uh, the front of the, the train. Nothing here. I don't think it's strictly necessary for me to have the power armor going back through here, like... I could probably get by without it, but I just take so few rads when I'm in it, it's kind of nice. i drop that for now. This is no good, this is no good. That's fine. Don't really need the uh, submachine gun either, though I might... Well, it was, res it was good for that turret, at least. Security terminal over here. May unlock some protectrons. I guess we'll see what's in here. Nice. Turret controls. Okay. Can activate the turrets and um, Okay, one is directly outside. Is they going to be hostile to me then? Certainly is. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's a powerful turret. Gotta be careful with this thing.
that one's not so bad. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. It's possible I could get it with a grenade if I toss it like towards the ground. It doesn't bounce too much. But activating these was not a good idea. I mean, I'll get some ammo out of them, which is great, but uh, man. Well, you know, it's a lot of experience. I'm gonna get closer to this one. Okay, that one was a lot less tank. That was a lower level one. Ooh, boy. Gotta get some nice fusion cells out of this thing. One. One goddamn fusion cell. Experience alone was worth it, but it's still really frustrating. I guess it did shoot me quite a lot. Shit, that goes to somewhere else. I didn't want to go through here. This is right. This does go to Copley Station. I'm almost positive. I thought I heard one more turret, but maybe it was just the sound effect from that one that had already, that had already died, but I didn't, didn't go through yet. There are only two connected to that terminal, so I assume that's all that was there. Big boy. Someone asked in the comments previously how I looted the uh, big glowing ones and stuff. Uh, because you can't loot them normally. There's like a bug that's... Uh, kind of inadvertently put into frost. Still have no freaking booze. And you just you just have to crouch and look at him and hit E. You can loot him. I would have never known that, but someone on the uh, frost forums on Reddit or somewhere told me that. Already got a clean tan suit. Gonna pass on that for now. Don't see any mines. Should be some more good stuff around here, though. Formal hat. Uh, it's nice, but how much is it worth? Not that worth that much. It's whatever. 38's not that great a value. More important stuff here, like... Uh, these are all kind of heavy for the amount of wood they give. Anything in this thing? No, this is all uh, base game stuff. And that's all she wrote, eh? Let's see here. We're going to drop this and that. I'll do for now. So I got the whole parking garage to clear out. Which is like three floors of ghouls. 
and this area. Oh yeah, this, there's a fusion core down here. I totally forgot about that. I want to make room for that for sure because we want to get that. You know, so I keep finding all these like single rounds and these things. That's because of the one of the perks. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of food here. Oh my goodness. The mother load. Because the guy in the uh, Brotherhood quest, you know, he was feeding these guys. Uh, what can I shove into here for now? I don't need all this stuff, I guess. Let's see. Gas can, don't need. Telephone, don't need all this. Hit those, don't need that. Don't need that. Kind of want the alarm clock for the nuclear material. Plus, it don't weigh very much. Probably worth bringing back. It isn't that much copper for what is what it is. It's kind of heavy, actually. That should be good. And we'll have plenty of weight. I, I forgot just how much good food's down here. Little tip here. If you have the high ground on the ghoul, you can get their heads a lot easier. Although I'm doing a very piss poor job of it right now. Because they're being very awkward. Those guys will resurrect their buddies too. Which is either really bad if you can't handle them, or it's very good because you get some free uh, experience by killing them twice. It gets really awkward. I get all that? I don't. It gets really awkward whenever uh, you chop off their heads, though, and then they get resurrected without a head. And then uh, you can't kill them hardly because. Without getting headshots, it's very hard to kill a ghoul. So yeah, there's a fusion core. Very nice. We got room for it right now. Mr. Straggler. That was a headshot. Come on. One straggler over here. Take care of him. Again, gas cans are nice, but they're just too heavy for how much oil you get out of them. So I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. I got one pound of weight left. I don't have any booze. Am I hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Have that crab meat so we get rid of one and a half pounds of weight. Sadly, just one working fusion core down here. Imagine if there were like six of them, one in each of these. It'd be great. It'd be overpowered as hell, but it'd be great. You know, for this, for these being only 0.2 weight, uh, giving spring and wood, it's a very, very good deal. Those clipboards, it is. Now that, like, I know wood is actually valuable. Oh, this is good stuff, too. What is on this thing? Let me see. Oh, it's got a nice, it's got a nice uh, quick eject drum mag and a full stock vented barrel composite. This is a pretty nice uh, assault rifle, but I simply cannot carry it. Antifreeze is also a priority because it's used for mentats, I believe, or for uh, great mentats. So I want to make room for that. I'll drop something else. Do you want the antiseptic out of that, too? Alright, what can we drop here? Let's see. All that stuff is good. That I didn't mean to pick up, so we'll drop that. Um kind of want the camera for this, the crystals. I haven't gotten a whole lot of these. I kind of want to get a couple of them. It's not worth it for the weight. That will do. Folders are wood, but they're only, they're 0.2 weight, so it's it's not super efficient to pick them up. Uh, I can get this a Brax, so I'm never going to be full. Let's see what's over here real quick. I'll probably head back.
You get stopped by Opal and by all of her uh, bobby pins. She refreshes them every 24 hours or so, I think, so... Should be doing that more often, that way I get a good stock of bobby pins, because... It takes a while to get a good stock of them, you know? I'm pretty good about not breaking them, but I'm not the best in the world either, so... I could get the robots out here and play with them. If I had some mines, I might do it. I'd get him to walk over the mines would be great, but I don't have some explosives, but I just, I don't know. It's uh, a little risky. I do have some, I have a pipe bomb and a frag grenade. You know what? Let's live a little bit dangerously. I want those fusion cells, man. I gotta stock up. I have a decent, um... I have a decent laser rifle now that I could take out in really dangerous situations if I go to somewhere really, really tough. Thing is, I have to get the rifleman perks before I actually use it. Come on, do it. Okay, I picked up a can of cram. I'm gonna drop it over here for now. I'll drop all this cow meat over here for now. I'm going to set it somewhere where it doesn't go flying if I throw a grenade. I got locked out my first try. Couldn't get it. I'm in. There we go. Up. Okay. Duty. So I'm going to toss a grenade at these boys. Maybe two. That fucking missed both of them. Can't believe it. Okay, there's one down. It went in between there and didn't go anywhere, so it didn't kill either of them. It's really, really frustrating. Oh, that was super easy. <laughs> that was super easy. I think I made profit on that, to be honest. Ooh, nice. A bunch of fusion cells. Uh, one power relay coil is worth it. That's a lot of cop. That's a lot. Of it's two copper for, uh... Yeah, it's good. Okay, and we're exactly full now. Cool. Well, well worth it. Nothing else I can grab over here. Is there a new chair? I'm just gonna drink it right now. I'll drink two right now to get some more carry weight back. Ooh, some, uh... Lamb coast and fancy lads. Antifreeze, I need that. I gotta have it, guys. I gotta have it. A missile that I certainly can't take back. That is a very, very nice 44. Oh, can I make weight for it, though? Can I make room for it? What I was gonna say earlier is you notice all the uh, ammo I'm getting in these, like, random containers. That's from that scrounger perk. It really adds up over time. This is a really nice um, pistol. If I could put a scope on this uh, with that receiver, that pristine receiver, it would be really, really a nice weapon. I would actually use that for once. I don't like pistols normally, but that one's pretty damn good, so we're gonna keep it. Which means I gotta drop some stuff. Uh, sorry, circuit board. Sorry, camera. Sorry, desk fan. I wanted to keep you, but I cannot. So that goes to the surface over there, but we're not going to go to the surface right now. We're going to make our way back. So yeah, we come back through here again, and this will take us over to Copley Station. This is the correct way. I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I have to clear out the um, parking lot area, though. And, yeah, then we, we go through over here after that. We're going to go back right now and dump off our stuff. we got a lot of good stuff on this run. Yet another fusion core. So we have, I think, two back at base, and uh, our current one's almost dead. I could swap it out and... Uh, by the time I get back, it's going to be almost burned out, so I could swap it out. 
when I get back and then sell it later on. Since it's convenient to do that, I probably will. Like I said, I'll do it if it's convenient, but if it's not convenient, I won't worry about it. There's nothing else in here. We got everything that's good in there. Yeah, overall, really successful run. I need to get some booze and start getting these rads down. I didn't bring any with me because I was assuming that we would go to Alliance territory, which there should be some booze there, but we didn't go to Alliance territory. We just went back through to, towards Copley Station, which I don't think there really is any booze over there, so I should bring some more booze with me and get that, those rads down and get my Sandy back up. Well, Sandy is fine, actually. We didn't, didn't take any hits. We just killed a bunch of ghouls. Oh, yeah, I leveled up, too. I have two levels up two levels up oh my goodness um okay so if i want calibrated leggings i have to do one point into science right now and then next level we do another point into science and then we're good the other point i feel like is probably best to go duck and cover too that will get us 50 percent damage resistance for explosions as long as we crouch before uh, it goes off. I feel like that plus the power armor is probably enough to save us from a mine. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. There's uh, some lore over here I forgot to read, too. There's a speech. The city is like a phoenix from the ruins we have per persevered, preserving those last remnants of society and civilization. We have triumphed over the wasteland and proven without a doubt that mankind will march on. But let us not forget what lies above. The surface is a perilous world. It is a frozen hellscape devoid of civility or, or reason. What lives up there will kill without hesitation. In the early hours of morning, airport station was set upon by a horde of these monsters. Though our brave soldiers fought valiantly to hold back the tide, the station ultimately fell. There were no civilian survivors. It is in these trying times that we remember what has kept us together these past four and a half years. Unity, brotherhood, and above all else, loyalty. We cannot afford to squabble amongst ourselves when the true enemy lies above. And do not be tempted by the communistic lies of the southern stations. They could be aiding the surface savages for all we know. Rest assured, your captain knows what is best for you and your family. Together we will triumph once again. That's the speech um, that I think Marchand gave the rest of downtown and all the Metro Federation alliances or the Metro Federation um, people. Okay, so yeah, we're going to store that for now. Very nice pistol. Dump off our crafting materials here that we don't need. We got a lot of food from that run. That's really, really good. In fact, I'm going to cook it up right now in the hopes that I get a level up. So yeah, three, four full fusion cores, basically. So we're going to start on our next one pretty soon here. Um, our current one's almost dead. So have plenty of ammo. Got a bunch of ammo for the 5.56. Some fusion cells, plasma cells. Get a nice stockpile here, guys. Nice stockpile. Looking pretty good. All right, so... Um, This core is just about dead in our current one. I'm gonna hop out here real quick. Two charge left. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and take it out so I can sell it. See, hold on, I'm gonna grab this core out. There we go. Can just barely move now. See, so yeah, I'm gonna craft up. What's my intelligence at right now? Am I pretty low? I'm not very low. Uh, I don't really want to craft a bunch of stuff when my intelligence is that high. I'd rather get dehydrated. What's my sanity at? Should I just chuck a bunch of beer? I mean, I could. We're gonna want to eventually. I'll drink all the stuff that's not like. Uh, not super amazing, I guess. Come here. Still won't be enough, though. 
to get us low enough, that so is. Far? 54 Sandy, not bad at all. Um, but we're still pretty high on intelligence, unfortunately, so... so far? Are there any chems I could take that would lower my intelligence? Not really. I can go the opposite way and just buff my intelligence. So okay, I'll just I'll wait for now. I, I won't cook them quite yet. We just hold off. We're gonna take the rest of my Gwinnett brews. So I can keep a good uh, a good buzz going the whole time. And that's gonna be everything, I think. Take a couple more frag grenades too, just in case. Alright, so we're good. We'll just go back out then. What time is it actually? Oh, it's like midnight. I should sleep. I don't want to get too far off on my sleep schedule. I mean, I don't have to sleep, but I'd rather... I'd rather stay pretty consistent on my sleep schedule, you know? So far, so good. Be careful. I think we'll go ahead and sleep for uh, eight hours. It'll be 9 a.m. When, when we wake up, which is not too bad. We won't have wasted too much of the day. One or two ain't so bad, but... Okay, we need food. And booze. Dealing with I have no path. food. Do some heavy stuff here. So going by weight, uh, the heaviest things I have would be... Let's see, sort by weight here. Um, I guess just do... We have these fungus. Yeah, we'll do the fungus. get those eaten up because they they're not very good they're not they're not great per weight you know what I mean I want to be taking those with me I want to eat those while I'm here if that makes sense okay so uh, yeah I think we're just gonna be going back towards airport station clearing that out maybe doing the surface of that too because why not just get a whole bunch of experience from the ghouls up there be pretty good I'm going to check real quick to see how long I've been recording. If it's been like over half an hour, I'll probably end the episode here. Yeah, okay, we've been going for half an hour, guys. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, I'll continue with my exploration of the Boston Airport ruins and the above ground of the Boston Airport in the next one. And if we make it very, very far, we might get up to Copley Station or Copley, however you say it, and clear that out as well and do the library. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time.